How's it going guys? My name is Jerry with Aesthetic Auto Detailing and today we're working on this RV. We're here in Baldwin Park, California and I'm going to show you guys my process and how I price them as well. How many RVs have you done, Jerry? Um, so I've probably done about like four or five so far. Um, I would like to work on more, but it's just kind of how it worked out so far. All my clients that I've worked on so far, they're, they're very happy with the work. All right, Jerry, so tell us, man, how'd you get this customer? All right, so this client, they contacted me back in August. So August of 2023, I guess they were looking around, they were shopping for a detailer. The client mentioned that they had about four or five detailers pass by. Some of them tried giving them a quote over the phone. Some of them were trying to hurry up and just be like, okay, okay, I'll charge you for, I'll charge this much. My thing is, I tried being very like informative, you know, I tried telling the client like, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. I even offered to do a test spot for them. I think that's kind of what sold them because when I came over, I showed the client like, look, this is what we're gonna do with one step. If you wanna do like a ceramic coating on it, I will do this and I will do this. And I did like a 50-50 and they were just like, I'm sold, I'm sold. I like the way you informed us about what you're gonna do. I like how you um, provided, you know, like a, a demonstration, you know? So yeah. Can, can you show us the spot? Yeah, let's go, let's go. But Jerry, it took too long, bro. It took yeah. a year. Yeah, so what happened was, um, there were some mishaps. I think the client was gonna get like the stickers, you know, like removed and replaced. I don't know what happened with that. And then I know some other things happened as well. So we kind of postponed it. They did pay the deposit a while back. This is what happened over here. I think they wanted more of like a little test spot because I did like a whole little area but also this was the initial test spot that I did. So I told them with one step, it was gonna look like this. If I did the two steps that I was gonna do, it was going to look like this. And then we kind of did just a little more just to kind of show them what they're gonna get. Because as you guys could tell, it's very oxidized. Very oxidized, it looks very dull. But I mean, that just goes to show you. Did this back in August and you can still see the difference. And you know what? I feel like when a customer uh, sees this, yep. without a doubt, they see the difference. Exactly. Like, and, and oh, that's, that's where my money's going. Yep, that's exactly what it was. So I was very comfortable with showing them. I actually pulled up in my personal truck because I was just telling them like, oh, you know, um, I came, gave them a quote, but then I was kind of like, you know what? As a matter of fact, let me go get my work truck really quick and I'll actually demonstrate what I'm going to do. And they're like, no problem, I'll wait for you. They had some things to do that day, but you know, they pushed everything aside. Once I did this, and then we did a little spot over there, they were sold. Jerry, some detailers feel like, I'm not gonna do free work. No. I'm not gonna go, that, that's gonna take me, how long did that take you to demonstrate? Honestly, it took me like probably 20 minutes. And that's including like me getting my pads out, turning out my generator, everything. But me actually doing the actual work, a couple of minutes, you know? They stood there, they saw me doing it. I taped it up, you guys can see the perfect square. I taped it up and I told them this is what I'm gonna do. And they're like, here's the deposit, let's set it up. But like I mentioned, it was postponed just to some, you know, un unforeseen things, but we're here today. Just to show people, go the extra mile. Exactly. You know, educate the customer, exactly, show yeah. them. Uh -huh. Now, Jerry, how much are you charging for this job? So for this, I am charging 2,200. How did you come up with that price? I took some RV classes a while back. The guy that I actually took the class with, it was, it was a detail shop, but the guy that was teaching the course was, his name is Kyle. I forgot his last name, but he's from PNS. So I pretty much took or an RV course with PNS. I kind of talked to him and he was kind of giving us like some tips on like how to price. So he was going based off of like, uh, if you're doing this certain job, you guys want to charge, you know, this one, you know, like per like square foot, all this stuff. So I do have like my little cheat sheet that I created. And so I kind of like, you know, I kind of studied it and I was just, I kind of had an idea already. I asked her like, uh, how, like how big the RV was, this and that. So I already knew like if I was gonna do a buff and wax, I was gonna charge X amount. If I was gonna do like a polish or something, but then 
once it got to the ceramic coating, I was like, all right, I'm gonna charge this much. But I know some people, a lot of people charge a lot more. I'll get there, you know? Hey, do you think they were like a little sticker shocked when they heard that price or they were down because they already hit up other detailers and knew a ballpark? Um, a little bit of both. So I remember she did mention that um, one of the detailers went from like, I don't know, they charged their prices up here at first and she was kind of like, oh, no, I'm okay. And then he's like, okay, I'll charge this one and knocked off like half the amount. And she, she said, she's like, once he did that, I, I was kind of iffy about it. Like, well, why did you drop the price so fast? But you know, like I, can't, I came in confident. I, I, I showed what I was gonna do. So they originally wanted like a buff and wax just to make it look better. So I was telling them, I'm like, okay, no problem. You guys could do that. But once I demonstrated like, this would be the buff and wax, this would be the two step, and then it would have the ceramic coating on it. That's when they're just kind of like, what's the price difference? We kind of talked about pricing and then all of a sudden it was just, Here's a deposit, let's do it. Yeah. So Jerry, uh -huh. now, that seems like a really great price. Two days work, not bad. Yeah, yeah, not bad. But it's not our profit. No, 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 definitely not. Can you break down the expenses that are coming with this job? For sure, needed some buff pads. You know, I already have some, but uh, we gotta take into account the products that we're using as well. So the two products that I'm going to use is uh, I don't remember the name of it off top, so I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. Um, but I'll, it's going to be a PNS, is specifically for uh, boats, RVs, pretty much gel coats. That was one of the products that they showed me in the class. You know, we like, we're hands on. We test, we tested some products as well. I really liked it. Hey, bro, those, those trainings really came in handy right now, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. They really did. How They're, much was that training? I think I paid a hundred bucks, maybe. Either 100 bucks or 50 bucks, but I took a class at th with 3D. And uh, 3D, um, they're really good for um, shooting you some uh, store credit after. Yeah, so they, you know, they get you, they get you. And um, it was cool because I put the store credit towards the PNS product, you know? Yeah, so today what we're going to use is we're gonna use that, I believe it's called uh, Kyle's, um, I don't know, gel coat or, or, or paint, uh, I mean. Uh, I show it on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll, after that, we're gonna follow up with the 3D speed. Yeah, the 3D speed is gonna enhance the shine with that. I did talk to the uh, 3D um, like owner, you know, her name is uh, Nikki. And I ran it by her a while back. I was like, look, I'm gonna use this one, the PNS one, and I'm gonna use 3D. I tested them out, see what's up. And I really liked the, the outcome. And I asked her like, what do you think? You know, I was gonna, after that, I was gonna use some, uh, what is it, PNS paint prep, and I was just gonna strip all the oil from it, and then I was gonna apply the, the ceramic coating, and she's like, that's perfect, you could do it just like that. So I was like, all right, cool. So, you know, it's one of those things, like, everybody has their own preferences when you're doing things, but if you provided the, the, the results, and you're happy with it, and the client's happy with it, you know, that's fine. And then, hey, are those bottles expensive? 50 bucks, 100 bucks? Yeah, I wanna say that I spent like 50 bucks, probably on each bottle. Got it. So, net expense is labor. Uh, you needed help for this one. Exactly. And, is that it? Labor and, and materials? Um. So yeah, labor, materials. Um, I did I did stock up on some extra pads. I already have a good amount of pads, mm. but you know, you just, you wanna swap out every, every you know like panel but this is this is a huge panel you know yeah. so every once in a while because the fibers and the and the pads they get clogged up and not they're not really cutting like they're supposed to anymore so um i had to buy a new mid on the stick because a while back you know flew off on, on my truck yeah so i've been meaning to buy one but finally this job came up again and i was like all right i'm just gonna buy one how to buy it either way but yeah probably labor is gonna be one of the highest things right there Hey, but let me know guys, how much would you charge for the ceramic coating that I'm about to do? We're gonna do, uh, you know, buff polishing, we're gonna strip it, we're gonna do the ceramic coating. Let me know down in the comments below. And would you guys do it yourself or would you get help? Let me know down in the comments. And if you guys know anybody that has an RV and it needs some love, send them this video and let's make it happen. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay blessed.